This time I mentioned a really awesome trick with a whip. Let's do it. Okay, so pretty much what's gonna happen, you're gonna have a prediction from another deck of cards, which is gonna be right over there, and then you're gonna ask the spectator to name a number, so let's say they say four, one, two, three, four, leave it out, jogged, and then this will be their card. As you can see, there's their card. And then what you're gonna do, this is a really basic trick, you're gonna say, okay, my prediction from the other deck of cards was the king of diamonds, and then just like this, I predicted your other card will be... What? That doesn't make any sense. I thought I had a trick deck of all the cards, the King of Diamonds. Okay, so this is an interesting trick that I came up with. Pretty much all you need is a trick deck, which is, this is called a one-way force deck. You can find this at any magic store or you can get it on the internet. And I thought this would be really cool if you're doing a couple card tricks with a normal deck of cards, put it in your pocket to do coin tricks, and when you take it back out to do your final card trick, switch it with your one-way force deck. So it seems to them like all the cards just magically change into the King of Diamonds. So, anyways, that's my idea with it, and this is how you will pull it off. So, basically, you're gonna need your Queen of Hearts, and you're just gonna put it on top. Many of you probably already know how this was pulled off, if you've seen some of my other videos. And then you're gonna have your other card, the King of Diamonds, just laid right here, which is gonna be your prediction card. And then, all you're really gonna do is you're just gonna need to force this Queen of Hearts on, on the spectator in any way you want. So, in this in this tutorial I'm going to show you my favorite way of forcing a card. You can use any other force you want. So, now you get them to name a number, they say 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, leave it out jogged. And then you're just pretty much pushing this in and pulling the top card out. So once again, if it was this card, you're pushing it in and pulling the top card out as you bend your wrist. So, basically you're just showing the top card as you bend your wrist. So it's just the top card, right? Pull it out, show them their prediction, which really you for forced on them, and then, you know, the rest is all presentation. So, you're gonna say, this is my prediction, the King of Diamonds. And then, this was their prediction, the Queen of Hearts. And then, you want to bring this onto an act, because people, like, find this hilarious when you mess up a trick, and they're just all laughing, so don't just instantly go, okay, we have a deck of all King of Diamonds. Like, build this up a little bit. So, be talking about, like, you know, how you messed up and stuff, and people are all laughing and stuff, and then say, wait, this doesn't make any sense, because I thought I had a trick deck of all, all the King of Diamonds. So this is a really silly and goofy trick, and I hope you like it. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.